EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports. It's in the game. NCAA Football 2003. Eugene, Oregon, and Outson Stadium, the site for this incredible football game. And there's going to be some heat to battle in today's game between the Michigan Wolverines and the Oregon Ducks. And here come the Ducks. Hi, right, welcome everyone to another great college football game brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. The Wolverines don't seem to match up too well in this one. Kirk, I'm not sure I like their chances very much. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think you're exactly right about this. Oregon looks a little overpowering in this one. And I think it's all because of their running back. He's a tremendous athlete. And, Lee, I think he'll have a big game running behind those big hog mollies up front. I was just about to say that, but forget about it. Oregon is going to run through, around, and over this defense, Kirk. I'm interested in seeing how many rushing yards they're going to roll up in this one. Thanks, guys. Let's head down to the field. The two teams are lined up for the coin toss. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Kicks it off. Number three. Has it at the five. Kickoff return 27 yards. Number three on the return. They'll go to work at the 31. The Wolverines line up with two tight ends. Number 16 drops back. He lets it go. And it's incomplete. The big fella couldn't hang on to it that time. No, he couldn't. I'm going to tell you exactly why. He's doing a little too much thinking out there. Sometimes you just got to go out there and have fun. That's what I'd tell him. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 31. Number 16 comes to the line with three wide. And down he goes at the 33-yard line. He plows ahead for a two-yard gain. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. Three wideouts here. Number 16, steps back to pass. Looking, couldn't haul it in. That'll bring up fourth down. Fourth down, and let me say one thing. This defense was up to the task that time in shutting down the pass play. Yeah, they shut it down and they got the three and out they were looking for. Fourth down, eight yards to go. Ball on their own 33. They line up to punt this one away. Number 15 takes it at the 32. And that was a nice little punt return there. Well, Brad, that was a combination of a couple things. Some good blocks, but also the ability to avoid the coverage team by the return man. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. Three-man front defensively. Set. Put hot. Put hot. Put. Put. Back to pass. He unloads it. Complete. 
He's at the 40. Sheds that one. Inside the 30. Nice spin move. Number three. Brings him down at the 24. They threw to the tailback that time for a nice little pickup. Guys, here's another look at that nice pass. Okay, this was a nice pass and a nice catch. But the impressive thing about this play is how the receiver just kept on going after he caught the football. It's first and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. Defense lines up in a 4-3. The counter, he spins around, tackle at the 24. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Second and 10, ball on the 24-yard line. The Wolverines come out in a 34 defense. Number 12 gives it up the middle. Breaks one. And he puts it on the turf. Brought down at the 12-yard line. Well, the offense almost gave it away. Holding on to the ball is rule number one when it comes to running the football. That fullback should know better. First and ten. We'll see what they can do in the red zone. The Wolverines put four men up front. Number 12 drops to throw. He's looking. Incomplete. Incomplete pass. Number four, the intended receiver on the play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 12. Michigan lines up defensively in a 4-3. Number 32 on the give. And he's taken down at the 9. A gain of 3 yards by the fullback. Number 2 lines up in the deep back. I formation. Number 12 pitches out to the right. Number 12 tackles him for a loss on the play. Good penetration by the defense there as they tackle him for a loss. It's fourth down and 14. Ball on the 16-yard line. Number 25 lines up for the field goal. It's up, and it's good. Oregon, the kick. We should have a return on this one. Number 24 fields it at the one. Good coverage by the kicking team. Yep, beautiful job of playing their assignments right there. They'll take over at the 16. Ace backfield. pass. Let's it go. And it's caught. They'll bring him down at the 19-yard line. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 19. Four wide. Number 16, back to pass, looks, throws it out there. Number 27, has it, knocked out of bounds at the 22-yard line. A pickup of about three. Defense, 
It's third down and four to go. Ball in the 22. The Wolverines come to the line with their jumbo packet. We're hot. We're hot. We're hot. Number 23 takes a handoff. Tackle at the 33-yard line. Good pickup on that run. You know what made this play so successful was the vision of the ball carrier. Nice job of reading his blocks. Here's another look. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 33. Michigan comes out with two tight ends. He's to the 40, takes off a tackle. Number 16 with a takedown at the 48-yard line. And he busts a big one on this defense. The way this halfback is running the ball, I'd put a few more guys in the box there defensively to try to stop him. First and 10, ball on the 48-yard line. One man backfield. 16 hands off on the delay and they got him for a loss Kirk they really had nothing going on that run I'll tell you what Brad it's almost like he ran into a brick wall on that play and that'll be the end of the first quarter with our score Oregon three Michigan nothing now the teams have switched sides and we're ready for the start of the second quarter second down and 12 ball on their own 46 the Ducks line up in a nickelback Second and seven, ball on the 49 yard line. Michigan lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back, lets it fly. Number 80 makes a catch. Nice little pattern there. Yeah, he had great position there, and that ball was thrown in the right spot. Third and one, ball on the 43 yard line. Defense lines up, eight men in the box. On the ground, up the middle, spins upfield. Number 43 brings him down for a loss. Good job there by the defense. They brought the blitz that time and made it difficult for the linemen up front to pick everybody up. It's fourth down and three yards to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. They line up to put this one away. Number 15 signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the nine yard line. Get the ball here at the nine. Number two lines up as a single back. Set. Hut. 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 Hand off up the middle. Number six brings him down at the ten. Almost eked out a yard on that one. Second and nine, ball on the 10 yard line. The Wolverines use a four man front here. Back to pass. He steps up, looking. He's looking for his man, and that one's fallen incomplete. Number two, the intended receiver on the play. Third and nine, ball on the 10 yard line. The Ducks have five receivers on this play. 
Number 12, back to throw. He throws it. Number 86, hangs on to it. Brought down at the 14. That was a nice stretch for the D there. Yeah, they really cranked it up a notch on that series. Fourth and five coming up here. Ball on their own 14. Number 38 to punt this one away. Number 19 calls for the fair catch. And they make the fair catch at the 48-yard line. They'll start this drive at the 48. Oregon brings in their nickel package. And down he goes at the 48-yard line. A pickup of four yards on the sneak. Second and six, ball on the 48. Number 16 with four wide receivers. Number 23 on the delay. Number 39 with a takedown at the 46. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. It's third down and four to go. Ball on the 46. The Ducks line up in a nickelback. Number 16 drops back to pass. Rifles this one out to the left. And it's picked off. Great catch by the linebacker, but not a smart throw from the quarterback. It didn't look like the quarterback even saw the linebacker hanging in that area. It pays to be in the right spot at the right time. First and ten, all on their own 30. Michigan lines up defensively in a 4-3. Number 12 steps back to pass. Can't wrap him up. He rifles it to the left, and it falls incomplete. They got some good pressure on him there. Yeah, but don't forget the fact that nobody was open. That was good coverage, too. Second and 10, all on their own 30. Michigan brings in the nickel here. Hut. Hut, hut. Hut, hut. Hut. Number 12 drops back. They'll throw the flag. Complete. They'll bring him down at the 42-yard line. Holding. Holding. On the offense. On the offense. Oregon calls a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. Second and long, ball on their own 20. The Ducks come out in a two tight end set. Number 12, back to pass. It falls incomplete. Here's a third and long situation. Ball on their own 20. The Wolverines bring in their dime package. Number two gets the carry. Number six brings him down at the 21-yard line. The defense calls a timeout, and they've got two remaining. It's fourth down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. The Ducks are lining up to punt it away. Number 19 signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 39.
They'll go to work at the 39. Nickel defense. Number 16, back to throw. Steps up, he passes it, and it's caught. Number 39 with a takedown at the 48-yard line. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense, and the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. It's first and 10, ball on the 48. 4-3 defense. Little handoff. Spin move. Number 43 brings him down at the 44-yard line. He carries the ball for three, maybe four yards. Second and six, ball on the 44. They use four linebackers. Number 16 drops to throw. He's looking, fires a bullet over the middle. Complete. He spins. Number 16 with a takedown at the 8-yard line. Michigan takes a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. The Ducks come out in a 34 defense. Number 23 gets it on the counter. Missed tackle. And it pays off. Touchdown. And how about that run, guys? Well, I think he's a fine running back. Somebody, you got to design an entire defensive scheme to stop. Just look at that last touchdown run. He knows where the end zone is, and he gets there. And he hits the PAT. Less than a minute remains in the second quarter. And our score is Michigan 7, Oregon 3. Michigan ready to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Number 80 takes from the 10. They'll take over at the 29 yard line. The Ducks come out in the ace formation. Number 12, tosses to the left side. Number 3, brings him down at the 30-yard line. The Ducks call for a timeout. That was their second timeout. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 30. Oregon sets up in the eye. Fires across the middle. Number 4 with a catch. The wide receiver picks up good yardage that time. Number 12, drops back to pass. He lets it go, and it's incomplete. Boy, would he like to have that one back. Yeah, you're right. This offense relies so much on timing, and as you saw there, when their timing gets knocked off, they have a tough time connecting on plays like this. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 49. Michigan lines up defensively in a 4-3. Drops back to pass. Under pressure. He goes downtown. And it's caught. Brought down at the four. What do you think of that one, Mr. Corso? Well, I'm going to say that was a nice catch. He got a bunch of yards there, and that's going to spread this defense out a little. The offense calls a timeout, and that was their third and final timeout. Number 25, in to attempt the short field goal. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights.
Oregon lines up for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Number 24 takes it from the six. And we've reached halftime here. The score at the break, Michigan seven, Oregon six. And the teams are lined up to start the second half. Kicks it off. Number 80 takes it at the 8. He jukes. get the ball here at the 30-yard line. Number two, alone in the backfield. And they hit him in the backfield. They came with a blitz that time and got to the tailback for the loss. Second down and 12. Ball on the 28-yard line. The Ducks line up with two tight ends. on the give and he stopped behind the line that was a fantastic play by this defense <laughs> you're right poor halfback he had nowhere to go third down 13 ball on the 27 the Ducks go with the eye formation he drops back he unloads it incomplete pass the tight end couldn't get back for that ball. The intended receiver on the play. Fourth and 13 coming up. Ball on the 27. The Ducks are lining up to punt it away. Number 19 calls for the fair catch. And they make the fair catch at the 41-yard line. They'll start this drive at the 41. The Wolverines come out in a two tight end set. Tackle at the 50 yard line. Nine yard pickup. Second and one coming up here. Ball right around midfield. Number 16 comes to the line with three wide. He tries to spin, and they make the stop at the 48-yard line. He gets positive yards on the run and picks up the first. It's first and 10, ball right around midfield. The Wolverines come out in the ace formation. Gets the carry. He's at the 40, and down he goes at the 36-yard line. That was a nice run. Boy, he did a nice job of keeping his feet moving. Good, solid run. First and 10, ball on the 36. Number 16 with three wide receivers. Number 23 on the give. Number 44 with a takedown at the 35-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. Second and nine. This is the fifth play of this drive. Number 23 lines up as a single back. 
on the ground up the middle. And they got him for a loss. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. Yeah, and that time the defense got him to go backwards. It's third down and nine to go. Sixth play of this drive coming up. Two tight ends set. Back to pass. Looks. He's in trouble. Let's it go. And it's knocked away. Great defensive play by the cornerback. It's fourth down, nine yards to go. Ball on the 35. The Wolverines have five receivers on this play. Number 16 drops back. Throws it out there. Complete. Nice spin move. Number 16 brings him down at the 24. Not a bad play there. Not at all. And if this wideout can continue to make plays like this, allowing them to spread the ball around, this offense is going to be tough to stop. First and ten. Eighth play of this drive coming up. The Wolverine come out in the ace formation. Number 19 with a takedown at the 21. Three-yard gain by the running back. Second and seven coming up here. This is the ninth play of this drive. Ace backfield. Number 16 steps back to pass. Looking, lets it fly. Number nine has it. He's hit and got away. They'll bring him down at the 12. How about that reception, Lee? A good throw plus a nice catch and some good blocking equals to a chunk of yards. That's exactly what you practice all the time, Brad. It's first and ten. This is the tenth play of this drive. The Wolverine come out showing three wide. Number 16, back to pass. Steps up in the pocket, and it's caught. Number 21 brings him down for a loss. That's a six-yard loss. And that's the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one, Michigan 7, Oregon 6. And we're ready to start quarter number four. It's second down and a long ways to go. This is the 11th play of this drive. They come out with four linebackers. Off, makes a move. He's hit and got away. Nothing doing. Tackled for a loss on the play. How about that defensive stop? That's a great effort by the defensive line there. Anytime you can get into the backfield and disrupt the timing of a run like this, you're going to come up with a big stop. Third and long. Ball on the 18. Number 23 alone in the backfield. Drops back to pass. He's looking for his man. And that one's fallen incomplete. Couldn't find his man in the end zone there. You know, as a quarterback, I can tell you that the defense is always tougher down in the end zone. Fourth and a bunch coming up here. Ball on the 18-yard line. Number 34 is lined up for the kick. It's up, and it is good. Michigan, 
Ready to kick this one off. And they'll be returning this one. Number 80 takes from the 10. Go to work at the 30. They come out with four linebackers. Pitch left. Gets past the tackler. Number 43 brings him down at the 39. That's a good nine-yard gain. Second and one, ball on the 39-yard line. The Wolverines line up in a 3-4. Handoff up the middle. Number six with a takedown at the 42-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. First and ten, ball on the 42. Number 12 has five receivers lined up here. Number 12, back to throw. He throws it. Complete. The wideout comes up with a spectacular play. Yeah, and if I'm the coach, I put a big circle around that play so I can remember to call that one again. Good call. It's first and ten, ball on the 29. The Wolverines come out in a 34 defense. He passes it. Number 30. Bats it down. And the corner got in there and broke that one up. It's second down and 10 to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. They use four linebackers. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He fires left side. It falls incomplete. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 29. Number 12 lines up with five wide out. Number 12 drops the throw. He's looking. Going deep. Oh, my, what a catch. Touchdown. They hooked up for the big play. The coaches do a good job of getting this receiver the ball. They design plays specifically for him, like the one we just saw. And the end results are huge chunks of yardage and touchdowns. the PAT. So with just over three minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, the score is Oregon 13, Michigan 10. Oregon to kick number three and number 24 back deep to return. He sends this one deep. Number 24 fields it at the two. They'll take over at the 26. The Ducks line up with six defensive backs. He lets it go, and it's caught. Fumbles the ball, and they fall on the loose ball. 
And that fumble is going to cost him. Uh, at this stage in the game, the number one rule has to be to hold on to the football. I agree with you, Kirk. You just can't let somebody take it away from you in a situation like this when it matters the most. Excellent field position to start the drive. Number two is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Set. Hot. Hot. Number 12 drops back to pass. He steps up. He unloads it. And they couldn't hook up on that one. The clock will stop with that incompletion. Boy, I don't understand that strategy at all. With the lead late in the game, you just need to run the football. That's not a smart decision. Second and ten. Ball on the 40. The Ducks come out in the ace formation. Number 12 gives it up the middle. And he's going to lose yards on this one. Nice play by the linebacker. Third down and 12. Ball on the 42. Michigan lines up with five defensive backs. Number 12 steps back to pass. Let's it go. Number four makes a catch. That reception good for seven yards. It's fourth down now. Five yards to go. Ball on the 35. Michigan lines up defensively in a 4-3. He drops back. Throws it out there. Complete. And that fourth down pass results in a first down. Yep, and that's what I call good play call. When it works, it's good. When it doesn't, it's bad. Simple. You would know. You got it. It's first and 10. Ball on the 29-yard line. The Ducks go with the I formation. Oh, he got nailed on that one. The Wolverines are going to take a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. It's second down and eight to go. This is the sixth play of this drive. Oregon will line up in a jumbo set here. Number 12 gives it up the middle. Number 97 brings him down at the 22. The defense calls a timeout. That was their second timeout. Third down and three coming up. Seventh play of this drive coming up. Number two lines up in the deep back. I formation. Here's a handoff left side. Throws a stiff arm. And they make the stop at the 15. And the tailback picks up the first down. Well, here's a play that's not going to make the highlight reel, but it's so important to this offense. You're absolutely right, Kirk. This offense is all about working your way down the field. It's first and 10. They're threatening inside the 20. High formation here. Off to the right. Bounces off the would-be tackler. Number 43 with a takedown at the 12. The Wolverines call for a timeout. And that was their third and final timeout. The second down and seven to go. Ninth play of this drive coming up. Three-man front defensively. Number 32 on the inside handoff. Number six brings him down at the one-yard line. I think this offensive line is getting better and better as the game goes along. And coach, I'll tell you what, I think they're killing the will of this defense. And I don't think they're done just yet. They put everyone up on the line.
They put everyone up on the line. And that's the end of the ball game. Kirk, any final thoughts here? Without question, this is a tough loss for these players. Michigan played a great game out there, but I think they were a little bit outmanned. They're a good team, though. They'll bounce back from this. Folks, thanks for tuning into this game. Our final score, Oregon 13, Michigan 10. Our thanks go out to everyone here at EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler for Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso, signing off. Until next time, so long, everybody.